While I know this may not necessarily be the most beautiful site, I did decide that I wanted to, as passing by this place, step into a place where I really felt welcomed and loved with what it is that I'm stepping into, and I thought this was a perfect projection of that message that I'm going to create and just the beautiful wealth of this nature that I can be a part of. I mean, it really does smell amazing to be standing here, surrounded by flowers, surrounded by foliage, and, and amazing people headed in a positive direction here. <laughs> and then in that aspect, you know, things are, are really coming into a place where, you know, I've been destined to head down this path. I've just always gone the opposite direction and made things harder for myself. And I really think I need to solidify down and do exactly what's necessary to set that foundation for a successful career successful endeavor and venture to be able to move forward to be able to create this fruition and this full bloom in my natural self if I were to just accept and not go against the grain all the time. So what I'm speaking of and what I've held back from being able to do is essentially find exactly who it is that I want to be able to serve and focus exactly on serving that person instead of myself. So, I know it's more of a selfless gesture in anything that you do to be able to serve. To make the most of the impact you're going to create, you have to find out who your target market is. And for me personally, I just didn't end up doing that. I held back from it in many various forms. And I seriously, to put it straight, I only sent out connections to be able to connect with these people and learn from them, but to really find who this particular person is, the ideal client. I never put myself in a situation where I found exactly what that was, or the process of going through the sales manual, the handbook, and just knowing this is what I've got to do to be able to close a sale. No, I just chose to do it my own way. And I thought, hey, you know, if I can build relationships, if I have a natural gift at this, then it'll all just come into place. But unfortunately, you know, wisdom, and knowledge is given to those so that they can be able to develop that wisdom. And if you truly want wisdom, then you gotta go through a lot of experiences and a lot of pain to be able to mature. But know that there is faster gains from being able to take pretty created knowledge from somebody else and use that to create your own essence of it and your own truth. So in essence, incorporating that process and then finding your whys that apply to that would be a faster way than just failing and failing and failing and failing this is an experimentation, but this experimentation is something that already works. Not always happening to do improvisation. So that's really what I'm going to do is I'm going to find exactly who it is that I want to be able to serve, how I'm going to be able to do that, and associate goals with my own personal development and how I'm going to be able to work with that specific target audience and crowd. And in doing so, I think uh, it'll create a lot of fruition from that point to be able to move forward to that next step and um, yeah people are looking at me like why are you making a video here well you know I just happened to be passing by and I thought it was pretty it's spring of the nature go for it my man <laughs> am I going to get in your shot man <laughs> right out thank you so um, yeah that's just something that I'm kind of opening my mind to and uh, I want to be able to get to that steps of what we're doing and, and setting out those expectations of myself, setting those goals time bound and, and completed in numbers and how I'm going to be able to do that is all going to be small incremental steps as for that. But I really need to figure out what my bold promise is and what results I'm going to be able to guarantee other people and then how I'm going to be able to get the grasp from that as well. So I think that's highly important. And uh, being able to have that whole process in place, knowing that I can create those results instead of vaguely throwing out ideas at people and saying, you know, this is blah, 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 blah. And not incorporating stuff like that next step. going to be able to help me take that next step to the full fruition. So I hope that he's able to help you and being able to actualize your awareness and your mentality. You know, it's all
all part of my story going through pain and problems. But in order to be able to make those selfless gains, you're going to have to be selfish in a manner that you know that you're serving toward a greater purpose and a greater cause on a greater scale. If you're really doing what that entails and knowing that taking in other people's positive fruition, taking in their how and their processes is going to help you advance at a much faster rate than just doing what you want to do and being able to serve the crowd, the audience, the greater who is how you're going to be able to remove that mass appeal and really get into the deep feel of creating results which is actually what people are looking for to be able to gain that traction and momentum and move and being able to serve in their business, not only their business but from the heart to be able to create that new heart adventure. So, I, I love you guys. God bless you. This is another awareness documentation. Today's date happens to be Wednesday the 13th of June at 7.20 p.m. And we're going to do some new things, my man. Go home. You know, I've spoken about writing goals multiple times now. Realistically speaking, the ones on the 27th is the one that I've actually done. Um, and that needs to be even further developed and probably not so strict because there's a lot of guidelines that I'm probably going to have to follow and it gets really tough. Um, so I'll make things much more clear and succinct. Multiple goals and one main ambition and then see how that works out from there. So hopefully that helps. And um, definitely have a blessed day. Enjoy your evening, your day, your afternoon, whatever it may be. And uh, keep staying true while also learning how to do.